All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? Uh, today we're going to do a whip and chat. I have done for the past little while. <laughs> I do still have a coloring page. It's just, yeah. <laughs> just end up coming out here to diamond paint, but it's all good. Now, see what I can do with coloring eventually. Yeah, I have a lot more diamond painting canvases than I do coloring books that I'm allowed to color in, so that's why. Okay, so we have Diamond Art Club's I Am by Ravine Phelan. We're around here, like this row here. So, all right, it's around 20 inches by 28 inches, 51 centimeters by 71 centimeters, 29 colors and two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. 129 and 137. Anything under 150 uh, DMC is uh, considered Aurora Borealis. And they just have a sparklier coating with the different colors that are available in some of the diamond painting kits. I think the vast majority of uh, Diamond Art Clubs have ABs, at least one, but yeah, they're specifically coded. If there's AB at the end of a uh, SKU code, then uh, yeah, it's guaranteed to have at least one uh, Aurora Borealis. There may be a couple kits that don't have such things, but it's all good. Alright, okay, so finished L. Okay, finished A14. My camera turned off, went to albums or something. Uh, I don't know, so I had to start over. Okay, I'll get capital H here. Uh, A15. Oh, one right after. Okay, A15. Alright, just another shade of red here. Yeah, we'll keep rocking on. If I can manage to fit a coloring video in today, I will. But, yeah. <laughs> See what I can do. Because, uh, I work all weekend and then I. Switch to nights, uh, starting Wednesday, so gets a little tricky. <laughs> so, see, all right, no worries. I'll get videos, but it'll just be uh, a little different for four weeks. But, uh, it's my work cycle. That's fair. All right, so let's dive in. Continue on. Man, uh, doing the L symbol and then my phone all of a sudden decided to have a time. Okay, H. It's really slowing down considerably, my phone. That took forever for that album thing to pull up. Yikes. Oh, well. Can't just go and get a new phone. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Have like a few hundred dollars just hiding somewhere? Mm, not really. <laughs> New phones be expensive. Alright, but anyway. This one's working. As long as it still can uh, text and stuff. And uh, record video. We're good. <laughs> I need something high tech and fancy all the time. Mm. It's all good. All right. Hopefully everybody's still having a good week. Yeah, it looks like it really wants to rain today again. Got another cloud bank moving in. It's one of those kind of weird days. 
that H. Okay, kind of looks like an N. That's weird. Could be the angle that I'm sitting at too. See how a lot more people uh, getting uh, drafting tables <laughs> or uh, easels that are can sit on top of a table and uh, kind of tilt the work, uh, tilt their canvases. That's a really good idea. It saves your back big time. So kudos. Yeah, if you can get a drafting table that's adjustable, that's a good way to go. If you're going to do uh, quite a few canvases, that's kind of the way I went. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, pretty practical and it just gives you that work station that you do need for doing these because some of the canvases can be pretty huge. Like there's some that are like canvases that are like a meter long or can be or longer. Yeah, really big. And yeah, you just need a good work surface to be able to do good sections of that. Alright, H. Yeah, I gotta watch for the E's in here. Yeah, those are too confusing or can be a uh, troublesome symbols even though the backgrounds are different. Yeah, this is E, capital E here. And then H has kind of like a reddish kind of background. Yeah, they're di distinguishable, but like the same color letter. So it can be kind of, kind of double checking the st um, sticker sheet here, just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, 815 and then, yeah. <laughs> Probably two very different colors, I'd imagine. But yeah, it's just good to double check before you place your drills. Just take your time. It just saves a lot of backtracking. <laughs> yeah, because uh, if you're doing a pretty uh, common color in a canvas and it's on the wrong symbol. Yeah, that can be a little, that can get a little scary. Yikes. But yeah, it can be understandable with uh, some, some of these arrow symbols. If you have a couple of these symbols going and they're like right beside each other, yeah. Not, I wouldn't blame anybody from for like placing drills on the wrong symbols like that. It it does happen if you're really not on your toes, but mistakes do happen. Just hope you realize. <laughs> Just hope you catch on to it <laughs> before it gets uh, too bad. I haven't done that yet, but yeah, there's always that one time when you just get into a groove and it just might end up happening. No. Oh. If it does, yeah, it's unfortunate. It'd be one of those days, but yeah, I kind of have a slight twinge of OCD, so yeah, check and double check before I lay a drill down. But you never know. <laughs> Stuff happens. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. Okay. Yeah, this is a really intricate part of the canvas. To get to like the dragon's head or any part of the dragon's body, it's probably like the most intricate part of this. Canvas, oh, excuse me. E, 
Okay, there's H up here. Oops. I'm not out of. Okay, here. Ah, uh, where was I? Oh, okay, right here. All right. Ooh, E and H, like right. Oh man. <laughs> I'm doing H. <laughs> Yeah, E's like 312, so it's like a blue. <laughs> Big difference, but yeah, it's still it's, anything can happen if you're just kind of like half awake. Oh, stuff happens. What can you do? All right. Well, if you do one symbol at a time and are just making sure that uh, you're doing the right symbol and you should be fine. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's just do like the edge again here. Edge of the eye. And then H. Yeah, just the section. I'm working on right now, even though there's like a clump of ages right there. Just can get this uh, color drill out, doing the next section. It's all good. No panic to get this done. Yeah, I found the next uh, treasure, the next canvas I want to do, so. Next uh, canvas will be Treasure Studios Arts one, for sure. Yep, and it's all good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did an inventory when I get it, but I'll do like an unboxing when uh, we get to that bridge. <laughs> As usual. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I inventoried it and it was fine, but... Eh, all good. Can always check it again. Yeah, I just kind of open the box and then, yeah, put it away. After. Yeah, all good. No worries whatsoever. Yeah, it's an older Treasure Studios Arts kit, so it won't be in the fancy. There are branded boxes. It'll stay. It'll say like diamond painting. Yeah. <laughs> it's an older kit, so <laughs> I got it a bit ago. But yeah, it's still Treasure Studios Art, so all good. No, still a kit, so it's, uh, should be very nice. I don't know if people will be going crazy for it, but hey, it, it just has that really sophisticated, sophisticated detailed feel to it so and I think it's a square <laughs> I work I'll work with squares or round drills it doesn't bother me whatsoever uh, I just like doing the craft <laughs> it's like giving hands down just give me a a canvas and everything that I need and then I can like just go go for it <laughs> just yeah there's one diamond painting website that sells like kits and I just saw a whole bunch of stolen artwork it's like oh my gosh it's like I've seen these through diamond art club and Oh my gosh, I'm not saying the site's name. It's just like, oh my gosh. These are like well-known artists too. It's like, are you kidding? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Red flags. 
Yeah, because somebody posted there were they were looking for like uh, DMC codes for like the symbols of a certain canvas that they had purchased on said website. So I ordered one of the kits, like the exact kit that uh, was listed. Well, their prices are okay, but yeah, sounds like they are having trouble uh, getting like a symbol sheet, like for inventory and all that. So I just mentioned that, yeah, I ordered this kit. Yeah, it's a Phoenix, so looks pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, just to check it out, I guess. Oh, uh, see what I get <laughs> in the kit. Oh, yeah, it's a phoenix. So I'll probably end up doing it anyway. I like reds and oranges. Basically what that is. <laughs> I can tell you the truth. Reds and oranges. Kind of like this. <laughs> Mystical animals. I, yeah. Oh, see, just help that person out. I don't know how soon I'll get it. I'll, just that I had to keep them posted. Cause I just websites like that kind of added that little extra, like printable pattern sheet, uh, code sheets. But yeah, if they do change their canvas, yeah, well, that'd be interesting to have like a directory of uh, canvases. From like companies and stuff it wouldn't matter which diamond painting company like as long as they're licensed I guess but uh there was like a directory for that like kind of like they showed sticker sheets and the symbols and just like label the kits just in case somebody loses one of their sticker sheets they can refer to the site and take a picture of it on the website or print it off. But yeah. That'd be a big undertaking with uh, how many like thousands of canvases out there. Yeah. <laughs> Did you not get a sticker sheet or uh, <laughs> inventory sheet? <laughs> Here's a copy right here. <laughs> yeah, look up the company and yeah. Oh man. That would be a nightmare to put together, I'm sure, but I don't know if people like just somehow submitted their pictures of their sticker sheets or whatever for certain canvases. The database would build up pretty quick because everybody does different canvases, but Yeah, it would just be there just in case somebody doesn't get their uh, sticker sheets or something. And they have a canvas and they're wondering what like color goes with a certain symbol. Yeah, that, that kind of is a bugger. Oh, excuse me. If, uh, yeah, you don't have an inventory sheet and you just have symbols and no clue where the colors go that that sounds kind of scary <laughs> that's kind of part of the kit like a major component that's messing yikes sounds like that company hasn't got back to her oh that's a bummer so see what i get in that kit i don't know she they can set it aside i guess but yikes get a canvas and then it's like oh hey I can work on this now and it's like uh, no you can't <laughs> yeah don't have the legend for the colors like yikes overlooked much yikes yeah I'd be pretty peeved but yeah I don't know human error I guess but yeah inconvenient mm-hmm it's like, hey, I got this cool diamond painting, but uh, can't do anything with it. <laughs> 137, eh? Oh, geez. I missed a clump of ABs here. 
Yeah, well, that's common. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do them right now. Yeah, let's just move it on to a different color anyway. So, yeah, I can put four ABs down where they need to go. Not that I noticed it. Okay, good to go. Bam. It happens. Okay, down here. Yeah. 137, that was an AB. Yeah, right there. So, yeah, kind of the outline of the dragon's face. And really cool, really cool. Okay, down. 498. Alright, yeah, we're doing shades of red apparently. <laughs> Shades of red today. Mm. Alright. Yep, this is another red. We're good. Yep, since this is part of the dragon's face, we're guaranteed to get into reds and oranges. For sure. No sweat here. I'm just following the canvas. Yeah. Alright. That's what I like, just do symbols in a certain order, organized, awesome looking, okay, 498, yeah, I just like how specific canvases are, it's just basically filling in a large graph, <laughs> a large grid, with a uh, different color drills which go in a very specific coordinate <laughs> technically on a canvas but yeah you don't have to worry about uh, numbers or anything like coordinates or anything it's just uh, see where the symbol is and then yeah you put the right drill down really cool kind of like a battleship <laughs> Specific coordinates where uh, your opponent's ship are, and then, yeah, you try to sink all your opponent's uh, boats before they sink all of yours. With those kind of light, bright, kind of plastic pieces. <laughs> Battleship, wow. I remember having that when I was younger. Well, it's probably like a digital version. <laughs> Yeah, at coordinates, and yeah, you just took turns of asking your opponent, like announcing coordinates, and then they'd say whether you hit the their ship or not. And there are different sizes of ship, and the for each team or each player. Yeah, and you. You're just sinking your opponent's battleship before your whole fleet of ships uh, gets uh, hit by missiles. <laughs> really cool. Mm. I don't know, kind of tell you about radar or, uh, yeah, coordinates. Mm. A naval entry test. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Yeah, uh, I think there's a little bit more than uh, reading a radar screen, but <laughs> to the Navy, so <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a component, like a very rough introduction. To <laughs> okay, there's some down arrows over here, so I'll just do these clump of three. I don't know, I, I guess just seeing grids when I was younger. It's just that kind of sparked this interest way later on. I don't know, it's organized, it's concise, it's neat, specific, yeah. <laughs> Visual. 
Yeah, that's probably a huge component as well. All right, cool. All right, yeah, I got some down arrows over here. Better not get too off kilter here. <laughs> Can go everywhere in this section. Try to do it in some sort of order, but yeah, stuff happens. All right. Boop. What were you doing for lighting? Okay, we're good. Yeah, it's kind of getting darker here. Yeah, I turned the lamp off earlier because, yeah, it's just getting a spot of glare off the adhesive. From the light. It's like, oh yeah, yeah this is useful. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, get to do that really nice 666 color. Really nice red pretty soon. It's like it's next on the docket here. Yeah, it's got to get all the down arrows first. <laughs> really like that 666 color. And really vibrant, beautiful red. But yeah, one color at a time. I can't get too excited. I want to get out of control here. Let's go off the hinges here on YouTube. <laughs> I'll finish the canvas eventually. We're getting there. It's around. It goes faster. This is like the three quarter point. Like really. <laughs> Second last row. Or four fifths, <laughs> I think is how I divided it earlier. Kind of like five rows. It's like, yeah, this canvas is huge, and then, yeah, they're just segments that just fill in really quick. Yeah, I did like a couple sections in like a couple days at one point. Yeah, because there's just like a few colors. <laughs> I don't know, there are various parts of a canvas that will just fill in because it's just literally a couple colors and then other parts will take longer because, yeah, they're loaded with confetti. Yeah, just various. But if you have confetti, then you have detail. So, yeah, it scares a lot of people. <laughs> Oh, I got my first chuck. It's going to be beautiful. Oh my gosh, the confetti. I'm so scared. Yeah, it's okay to be scared of confetti, but uh, hang in there and uh, you will have a beautiful piece of art by the time you're done. And it's amazing what you can find in uh, chalk pencil canvases that wasn't readily there. Yeah, somebody found like a hummingbird in one of the chalk pencing canvases that they probably didn't realize was there. But yeah, as you like, you finish the section and then you're like stepping back from it and suddenly there's like an animal or something that wasn't, that you didn't see directly before in the canvas. Yeah, because you just probably look at canvas just like first glance oh that's awesome or it's a chalk hooray let's get it <laughs> it's just that can be that impulse kind of like oh yeah i have to have it collection hello <laughs> yeah that's common
Oh, is it raining now? Kind of has that uh, water sound on uh, people's tires. Yeah, it must be a slight drizzle. Oh, it's supposed to rain on and off today and around here, so. Oh. No worries, it's allowed to rain. No. I'm gonna freak out about that. No. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, makes it a nice day to diamond paint anyway. Yeah, I do like having weekends off, but yeah, if it's my turn to, yeah, be on the weekend shift, then yeah, it's only fair. Yeah, I get every other weekend off. It's like been years since I've been able to do that. Like have an actual weekend off. So it's good. No complaints here. I'll work whenever, but it's just like, yeah, just, <laughs> being able to have weekends off, it's like, wow, <laughs> it's like usually work until you drop, kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, the company does understand our work-life balance, that, yeah, stuff does come up. And you just have to explain to them that, hey, this came up. Can I go do this? I work some other shift or something. Yeah. Pretty flexible, but, uh, my department, yeah, just... My coworker and I are really two full time. <laughs> They're actually well. There's a third now. That's kind of in training though. Not like, quite like independent. But probably got the hang of it. I don't know. <laughs> There's a bit of a learning curve when you start, but yeah, it's not terrible. No, oh, just to have that coverage instead of having to toss people around to just run the department. Yeah, it's just good to have like a stable kind of crew to just run that dryer. Yeah, because not running something and just having eggs sitting in a silo, liquid egg, it's really probably not a good idea, even though it's like technically refrigerated or cooled. Yeah, it's really not meant to sit in a silo for days. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> delivered fresh and uh, yeah, it's just better if it's dried in a timely fashion just so there's no food poisoning problems or bacteria yeah eggs yeah it's just eggs unattended room temperature yeah we're going to have uh, scary issues you can just imagine the scenarios Yeah, if you can relate to the smell of rotting egg, yeah, like 10,000 plus kind of liters of something like that, yeah, you just can't put that down the drain. Yeah, it's kind of a nightmare scenario. So yeah, that dryer is going almost constantly <laughs> yeah, 
staff takes turns working on holidays or we can uh, book off that day and take a day of vacation some other time or work it. I usually just work the holiday because yeah getting somebody to come in to cover your shift is just not not always easy <laughs> just to get somebody in there <laughs> yeah because it's like hey I have these days off do you want to do something specifically on this day because I'm off and then yeah, something comes up and it just yeah creates havoc I wouldn't want to do that to somebody, but yeah, there are probably times where uh, he cannot be helped. Is that the same color? Okay, I guess. Alright, where are we at for 36? Okay, that's 498, I believe. Yeah, the edge of the eye. Okay, it's down. We'll get 666 out. Yeah, go on more of this dragon's face. <laughs> Slowly but surely, this picture is coming to life. Man, hopefully your canvases are coming along. We're crafting projects while you're hanging out. One of the Hundreds of different content creators <laughs> here on YouTube. Okay, see. 666. Yeah, that's one symbol that's just recognizable, like right off the get go, but yeah. Just following the sticker sheet just to make sure. <laughs> Some symbols you'll be like, oh, yeah, it's like color, bam, give her. But yeah, I just have the sticker sheet right beside the canvas. And I do have a readable legend over here, but I just go to the sticker sheet. I'm weird. <laughs> yeah, force of habit, I guess. Okay, 666, right here. 666, yeah, bah. <laughs> Oh, Miss Coffee, you like this 666 color too. Just loves it. Look at that number power. <laughs> 666. <laughs> Every unboxing that there's that red, she lets you know. <laughs> All good. Makes unboxings fun. And it's like, ooh, drill. Ooh, canvas, yay. I've seen this hundreds of times before. Some people that probably haven't, so yeah. <laughs> just do an unboxing like it was the first ever canvas. I just treat it that way. I don't know, it works. I don't know, that, I'm not gonna have like a brand new canvas every time. It's like, yeah, this is what we're working on next. This is what I'm diving painting next, so here you go. <laughs> Oh, that's how I do it around here. <laughs> One canvas at a time. Unbox it. Do whipping chats with it. Finish it. Get down. And, uh... Yeah, start another one. Yep. It's the circle of life around here. Pretty straightforward. Uncomplicated. That's the way I like it. <laughs> Oh, all right, yeah, I got a few seeds in here. Six, six, six. Bah. Today's color is red. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, fair shades. Uh, tints. So if you're gonna spell any drills today, spell some red ones. I have not, but yeah. Today's whipping chat is brought to you by the color red. <laughs> this one anyway, this whipping chat. <laughs>
<laughs> I could be like a spell in a totally different color or be suggesting a totally different color to spell. If you do decide to drop some drills, it happens to us all, so no worries, no sweat. Yeah, it's cringeworthy nightmare fuel, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's never. I haven't spilled any drills. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> it's bound to happen eventually, even if it's just one or two. I know. There's been whole kits spilled on carpet because of a doggo or a child or a pet, in general or just gravity, just not wanting to play nice. It's bound to happen, don't worry. Yep. Happens to the best of us. Don't panic, deep breath. You can always get uh, replacement drills if it gets too nasty. I hope. If it's DAC, yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have a problem or else uh, Hey, you're not gonna have a customer base <laughs> if you're messing for DAC for your pan. Yeah, you better be getting replacement drills if you want a customer base. Because welcome to the internet. Once a company isn't being very friendly to customers, so yeah. Uh, I'm sure people will be made aware. <laughs> Yeah, don't mess with the internet. Yeah, human error happens, and uh, yeah, some companies are like, yeah, we screwed up, uh, just be aware of this, uh, we're going to fix it, la di da yeah. That's what most companies do. <laughs> it's like, hey, we screwed up, so sorry. There's a delay in shipments, etc., etc. Don't flip a table. We're getting this sorted. Yeah. It's the way it should be. It's responsible. Yeah. Oopsies. Yeah, but if uh, orders aren't even getting shipped or companies aren't responding to customer emails or concerns, yeah, that's totally different, not good, that's uh, not helping anybody, <laughs> you're kind of ruining somebody's day by uh, not helping, mm. yeah, people taking time out of their day to do a hobby and uh, Getting no response from a supplier or company that's selling said craft supply. Yeah, really not going to be on the market for long. Mm. Not going to be a selling product for too long. Going to have trouble getting customers. Mm. You don't mess with crafters or anybody. Mm. Mess with the customer base that you're trying to serve. Or anything. Not a good move. Mm. Yeah, I'll see you right. Yeah, I'm not good. <laughs> Just double checking. Oh dear. Boop. Alright. Yeah. A little bit more C's in here than I thought. Jeez, I keep going for this like double. Strolls are kind of stuck together thin piece of uh, material. Keep going for it. Pick it up. 
Stop getting both of them. It's like, no, I just want one, thanks. Grr. Now I will just change this wax. Start out doing that now. Grr. Where are we at? 45. All right. So I got some more hangout time. All good, all good. Yeah, even if you get like a a color done in a section, you've still accomplished something. So yeah, <laughs> and if you place a couple drills, it's a uh, that couple less drills they have to place later. So you're still accomplishing something, even if you only have like an hour or so available to work. On your uh, crafting project. No worries. Diamond paint when you can or craft when you can. Or make time. <laughs> Stuff's getting a little crazy. And yeah. Yeah, you have to have some me time. It's all good. Just, hey, had a crazy week. Yeah, I just want a couple hours to work on the canvas, please and thanks. Yes. A couple hours just to chill and relax and to get some diamond painting done. There are times where uh, life can wait for an hour or so. Some circumstances, not all the time. Yeah, there's some just stuff that trumps. Uh, <laughs> trumps diamond painting in general, hands down. <laughs> some life events, but uh, yeah. Like you have to adult at some point, but it shouldn't have to be like all the time, 24 seven. Gotta have some like chill time. Yeah, even though it might not be like the easier said than done kind of thing, but you know, gotta find that time to relax somehow. Yeah, we all have different lifestyles though, don't we? So, we have children or, or just single, or have a spouse, significant other. Yeah, everything's different. Or in school, and can't exactly just diamond paint. <laughs> when you have like a Tons of assignments piled up. Yeah, yeah, it's tricky. But yeah, just downtime in general. Time to yourself independently. If it's not even crafting, maybe like reading a book or something. Yeah, it's something to kind of slide into your life. It is important to just have that time to yourself. Yeah, everybody needs some space to just kind of relax. It's the healthy thing to do, because just being busy all the time, you're just going to burn out and not be very happy. But yeah, it can be really hard to put on the brakes in some circumstances too. Yeah, I can understand that. But that's usually when you should probably put the brakes on stuff and be relaxing. Yeah, it's a really tough go. Everybody's different, different circumstances, 
and yeah, easier said than done. Yeah, totally understandable. Tons of transports on the road today. Right. Yeah, the seas are just kind of scattered. Yeah, I think I'm finding them all right. <laughs> For the most part. All right, let's see. All right. You saw all the C's for this section. Oh, haha. <laughs> oh, they were hiding. Oh, silly C's. Yeah, I'm doing this kind of like boosts your concentration and focus to an extent. Yeah. And you learn patience, I guess, and uh, eye hand coordination stuff. I don't know. There's some dexterity kind of skill enforcement. <laughs> Yeah, so it is kind of useful. Mm. Oh, stretching and yawn. Holy cow. Mm. Yeah, it just must be the weather. It's just kind of bleh. That's all I get kind of bleh. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's just a natural reflex. Seasonal effect disorder, maybe. We all kind of like strive or thrive on sunlight and when it's bright and cheery out. So we feel good. And then when it's just some like crappy and dreary, it's like, oh, it looks like crap out there. So I feel like crap. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Reflex kind of thing. <laughs> just reacting to the environment. All right, 52 already. Man, no. Okay, there's, I think there's just literally this one yellow. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Uh, triple four. It's basically the pupil of this dragon's eye here. Let's give this dragon sight. Boop, yay. Look at that, the dragon can see now. Great. So nice. And I, I would be following me now, staring at me. If I hang it up, be just watching everybody with that one eye. Not terrifying at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's better than that one canvas that was released recently of a cow uh, in a field of sunflowers and it's just staring straight at you that just that blank stare from that cow it's a cow picture but it's just yeah stuff with pictures with eyes and they're just like staring like right at you eye contact Ooh. in a picture yeah like cow jumps out of the picture <laughs> just has that kind of I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm creepy though. Oh, people love cows. Hey, it's, I don't know if it's still available or in stock at, for Diamond Air Club. Cow and Sunflowers, or whatever it's called. It came out like a week or so ago, I think. It was, it's a recent release from DAC, but yeah, that probably won't be uh, getting that canvas. <laughs> No thanks. Uh, yeah, that that just creeps me out. <laughs>
Hey, cows are cool, but yeah, just a cow staring at you in a canvas while you're working on it, or just when you hang it up, it's like those eyes just like move, man. Cow be watching. <laughs> it's like, uh, no dice. <laughs> no thanks. Uh, yeah, and uh, any of those lifelike dolls? No. Mm. On this house, <laughs> no time soon. Mm, just, yeah, I'm not getting a Chucky doll in here either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Do any of that doll stuff. I have plush animals. We got fox and all that. Not creepy. All good. Just, yeah, it's all good. But uh, life like dolls, those life like babies, and I don't know, just dolls that like that are like humans, basically. It's yeah, just uh, watching uh, way too many of those ghost shows, I guess, or seeing uh, one recently about a doll that has a couple spirits connected to it. And uh, it's one that uh, people really don't touch. <laughs> yeah, it's Ghost Hunters or something. And yeah, the dolls like has a couple spirits tied to it. And yet it's just hanging out in this guy's museum. I don't know, this host of this Ghost Hunter show or whatever has a museum. Or this doll's in a museum somewhere and just storing it there. It's like, ugh. I don't know, what do you do with that kind of stuff? Just kind of ghost tied kind of stuff. I don't know, holy water or something. I don't know. There probably is a spiritual realm just inches off kilter to. The living plane. Yeah, I. That stuff's kind of interesting. Supernatural stuff. Yeah, restless spirits. You know, there could be like millions of them just wandering the earth on a different plane of existence, unable to cross over. Yeah, mm, slightly into that stuff. It does seem pretty plausible. Unfinished business. Yeah, kind of believe in karma too. So what goes around comes around. Yeah, it seems pretty plausible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's really too far-fetched. Highly possible. Alright, yeah, we're just working on an orange here. Yeah, it's just kind of spread out. Kind of more a detail color kind of thing. To an extent. Fairly distinguishable symbol. A right facing kind of arrow, directional arrow. Or greater than, less than kind of symbol. Yeah, I always confuse those two symbols, greater than and less than. Uh, this is probably less than, and then greater than. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Left or right, I still confuse. And then if talking about Somebody else's left or right, yeah, that's even more confusing. I still do the thumb thing. Yeah, I still do like this. Yeah, kind of L for left, and then if the L is backwards, it's the right hand. 
Yeah, I still do that kind of <laughs> visualization. I don't know, yeah, it's just something that's always... <laughs> confuses me sometimes so I just have days where I'm just like eh. <laughs> get all mixed up okay Ooh. the symbols just kind of like everywhere here uh, right Oh wow, is that orange I'm working on now? Holy cow, where did that come from? <laughs> Let's get those. Oh, drills showing up. Oh wow, we're at an hour already. So yeah, you've been watching uh, Oh, excuse me. Echoes of Color with uh, Jeffrey Morrison. Uh, as usual, in the description below, yeah, my Facebook profile name, uh, my Facebook Echoes of Color business page, Facebook business page Echoes of Color. Wow, I always garble that up. It's basically URL. Yeah, just copy and paste that. And then uh, my Instagram. All three are just like updates uh, or echoes the color of the channel here on YouTube. Yeah, just for example, if I finish like a section of a, this diamond painting or any other whip where I finish the coloring page, yeah, that's when I post. It's not every day. Or when I've like kitted up the next canvas to work on for the channel. Or whipping jets then yeah I posted there so yeah that kind of thing yeah I did mention Instagram yeah Instagram's there too so yeah all three yeah in the description below any of my videos so yeah just that extra <laughs> oh Oh cow! What a day! <laughs> it's one of those dreary days, and I'm like yawning. Anyway, take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>